Hey there guys, Frank and here, and once again, C64 time, and we are going to do the thing I meant to do last time. And I hope you're prepared for a major downgrade in quality. Because we're going on to Street Fighter 2 with C64 edition. I only played a little tiny bit to make sure I had the right uh, file this time. And I'm not going to cheat. I don't think I need to. There you go, nice, not even very cleanly chopped out Street Fighter 2 logo there. And let me tell you, that's a pretty good sign of the overall quality instantly. Also be prepared for a decent amount of loading. Other thing that's a good sign of the quality pretty much immediately. Due to the limitations and spec of this machine, some of the implementations contained in the manual may be incorrect. Exactly what you want to be reading right there. Anyways, one player game, let's go. We got all your favorite characters. We got very washed out Ken, Grayscale Ryu, kind of E Honda, a mess, a very sad looking Guile, Doslin, Dalzin, Zangief looks fine, and Chun Li looks okay. Let's be Ken. Let's be American Ryu. Ken V's Ryu. And think I could be playing Smash Brothers instead. <clears throat> Had to re-download it though. Yeah, look at that. It's good, ain't it? Of note, we do have special moves. Of more important note, for some reason the uh, Hadouken is quarter circle away in this version. You also do... I can never remember the name of the spinning kick. I have no idea what the actual input is. It just seems to kind of happen. You might have also noticed that Ken basically just stood there and let me beat the crap out of him. The input. Oh, okay. This is just back forward. Or just forward sometimes? Just, just forward and attack does the spin kick sometimes. It's not particularly consistent. Boy, uh... As you can see, I don't think I'm going to need to cheat. I don't know if it's going to stay this stupidly easy, but uh, I don't feel the need to beat up very bloated Ryu again. 
Thank you. Do we get the map screen again? Get some extra padding in here? Or are we gonna just bop into uh, the next fight? I would kind of prefer that, actually. Nope, get the map screen. So yeah, this is not a great implementation of Street Fighter 2, but let's be honest, it wasn't going to be great. Again, it's a one-button interface, and hardware that is definitely not up to the spec needed for this. But, if all you had was a C64 and you were really hard up for some Street Fighter, I Kinda... Sorta does the job? I think a two-player, it might be okay-ish. Okay is maybe being a little generous. Probably be better than fighting the AI, though. Huh. Just going right through him. Alright. Yeah, sometimes forward in the attack button... does a punch, sometimes it does the kick. And sometimes all your special moves and regular attacks just, you know, just don't hit. That's fine, right? I want to see if it'll happen, because there's a kind of amusing bug that happens sometimes. Where characters just kind of stand in the sky. Boy, just from watching this, you might think I actually know how to play a fighting game, but that's completely a lie. What if this has the bosses in it? This has the endings in it. Well, I guess we'll see if we can get that far. Because I got nothing better to do right now. I mean, in theory, I have a lot of better things. But, uh, I've chosen to do this. Unless the load times kill me first. Alright, let's beat up the green man. No, he dodged my only move. No, my attacks are just failing to connect. Oh hey, show you can. I have no idea how I did that. Good to know it's in the game, though. I can tell you the input had nothing to do with the proper input for that move. It just kind of happened. It 
So sometimes your attacks fail to connect at all, and sometimes they, you know, hit multiple times, like a basic punch. Also just totally juggled the poor Blanca to death. Sorry, man. You probably didn't deserve that. I wasn't really looking at the screen so much, but man, that background was a mess. Also, eventually one of these characters has to decide it wants to actually fight, right? It can't be no, like, no AI the whole time, can it? It can, and it probably will be. bizarre set of animations there. Was that a flash kick? Or was that just spinning that happened to hurt me? I'm not sure. I really kind of wish they had more than just the one music track going on, but... Say lovey. Dang, that did a lot of damage. Hey, a sonic boom. Was absolutely not animated, but, you know. Huh. So, uh, I take it back. Apparently, the Hadouken command lets you fire it in either direction including away from your opponent, which is... something. It's still backwards, though. You do quarter circle back to fire in the other direction. Alright. Second layer of fighters, let's go. Place your bets. Will any of them actually even attempt to put up a fight? That is an awful sprite for Chun-Li. Man. Also, jeez, if you hit people in the, that are jumping with the uh, spin kick, it messes them up.
Yeah, they're on the ground, it only hits once. Interesting. You know, the uncoordinated slap fights this game presents are actually starting to grow on me. Not because they're good, but they are kind of amusing in a way. Also, apparently this level of fighting game is more my speed than a real and properly made one. I feel like I need to actually load up a proper version of Street Fighter 2 at some point. So I can show that I'm not kidding about how bad I actually am now that I'm uh, steamrolling this version. I feel like it would make a point. I'll consider it. Unless I somehow accidentally got good at fighting games without playing any. I, I doubt that happened, but you never know. Oh, no. If you get him in the corner, all you have to do is mash the button and they're done. Kindly turn around. Wow, went right through him. Well, it's over now, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Load me up, uh... Load me up whoever's next. I forgot in the order. Dalton? Is that how you say that? <laughs> I suddenly realized I, it's been, like, 20 years, and I have no idea how you say his name. It is him, though. I wonder if his stretchiness is in this. Seems like the character would be completely broken if, uh, it isn't. Oh man, that's gonna look awful if it is, though. Ooh. Well, I suppose we'll find out once this load finishes.
Well, let's find out. Hey, Yoga Fire. No, oh, it was Yoga Flame, my bad. I think? Yoga Fire is the actual projectile, right? Oh, sorry, I forgot to give him a chance to stretch his arms out. Then again, given the AI in this has an extreme reluctance to actually attempt a fight, uh... I don't know that giving him time would've... done anything. Oh, there we go. You know what? That actually didn't look too bad. I'll give him credit. That was a completely acceptable effect for this version of the game. Alright. If the bosses are in, I think it's time. Let's see what, what name they went with for our, our boxer buddy. I think he's up first. Or is it Vega? It's been too long, I don't remember. Pretty sure it's Boxer. Yeah. Up, oh, they went with the US version, Balrog. I get why they went well, they went for the safe route, but I feel like Mike Bison is more fitting, given that they didn't change the way the character looks at all. <sighs> Whatever. I'm more used to uh, this version. He's so tiny! Look at him! Why are you so small? Oh man, those people in the background did not survive the digitation into a C64 very well. Ooh, look at that. Also, they're huge compared to us. Especially poor Bison, who's already shrunk. Ouch. I'm pretty sure he's put out the best fight out of anybody so far, so... I guess I can't give him too much crap. I can't believe I've spent about 20 minutes of my life doing this. <clears throat> Followed by another, like, 30 minutes of, uh, re-encoding, and then another 15 of uploading. It won't take 15 minutes to upload, that's a lie. Another, like, 5 minutes of uploading. Alright, Vega. Roughly the spot I tend, to, I, I tend to get stuck at in real versions of this game. Oh, 
wonder if he'll have his crawl on the background cage move. Ooh, that background suffers. Hey, he does have it! Hey, buddy. Get off of there. Hey. Hey, come down here. <laughs> Dang, he hits hard! I guess that's how they got around the game, having no AI. They just made the bosses do a lot of damage. You know, when they bother to attack. <clears throat> so at that time, he didn't do a lot of damage. I must do that thing where he got... I got stuck in the animation. And it hit like six times. Again, being totally honest, I'm actually really happy to see that they had his crawl in the background thing in this version. Even if you can't see the cage, so he was just kind of crawling on those people in the background? And now it's time for our final boss of the last game, except, you know, the real one, who didn't show up last time. Couldn't be bothered. I guess. Still doesn't get his final showdown with Ryu, though, because Ryu got beat up by his American counterpart. F7 to see info. No, thank you. Oh, wow, you ain't looking so great, Sagat. On the incredibly rare occasion I beat Vega, Sagat here usually always just destroyed me. Now that's probably ain't the worst we've seen. I think old uh, Balrog's the boxer is uh, still winning on that front. Just for being hilariously tiny. I was gonna say he didn't even try, but I did see him punch a few times. They just... clipped right through me. Wow, that punch absolutely should not have landed. That's what you get for not showing up last time. Get out of here. Now it's time for good old M. Bison. Whomst. I recall being a real jerk in, uh... The Super Nintendo version. I'm pretty sure I never actually beat him on the few times I got to him. Which was rare enough as it was, because I'm not very good at Street Fighter. Oh man, look at that! Amazing! <laughs> 
Oh, that's even worse. Ouch. I have high hopes for his in-battle sprite, though. I also have high hopes for the ending pictures made it into this, because, oh boy, I want to see those. Assuming I don't get rolled by a bison here. Which feels like it would be extra embarrassing, given how the rest of this is gone. Hmm. Now I'm a bit nervous. He's wearing black! Whoa! Yeah, that's how I remember him working. Did kindly turn around. <laughs> Alright, so... M. Bison is the one character in the game that actually got some AI. Gotcha. I guess if you can only... Have the, have the power to put it in for one. The last boss is where to do it. Boy, that almost looked like I knew what I was doing. Man, M. Bison's down to Sprite just looks like a broken pile of limbs. It's pretty grim, actually. Alright, hit me up with that ending. Oh, man, it's just got the text. Oh, I'm actually disappointed. At least we got a different music track, though. Oh, I'm gutted that we didn't get a terrible digitized version of the ending picture. Uh Oh well. I don't know why I got my hopes up to begin with. Anyways, I guess I can put legit completed Street Fighter 2 on my uh, gamer resume now, and it's only sort of a lie. I feel like I'm losing a street cred for this. Anyways, that's the C64 version of Street Fighter 2. It ain't very good. Later, guys.